another day of the nurseries. Um, didn't do any filming yesterday. Um, I had quite a few bits and bobs to do. I managed to get out and get some shopping done. Um, and then we had a lot of rain yesterday, so it was a bit of a grounded day. Uh, today, uh, three or four going out, and I've got several coming in. So it's going to be a, quite a bit going on um, this afternoon with arrivals. Uh, let's get my day going. And I've got um, a couple of other YouTube vloggers coming in this afternoon as well. Um, I'm sure I'll introduce you to them uh, later when they're here. And you can go and perhaps go and give their little channel um, a follow. They're um, a nice couple uh, who basically, by all accounts, sold up their bricks and mortar home and um, living life on the road, so to speak, in their motor home. Anyway, I'm hoping I'll get their story and uh, find out what their um, what their uh, uh, exploits ex exploits have been or their um, their, their adventures. So we'll have that a little bit later. I've got some uh, branches of an overhanging tree. Um, quite low that I just need to cut down their attic on somebody's um, storage area, storage box. So I'm going to go on there, going to have a quick look at that now. Um, basically get everything all ready for, um, for this afternoon. Right, let's, uh, let's crack on. There's another thing as well, keep watching this video um, because when these people I mentioned that are coming um, later, um, they were talking about cleaning the toilet cassette um, in the caravan and how to clean it. So I've got a top tip for you if, you, um, if you're if you a caravaner or you've got a motorhome with a, a cassette toilet. So keep watching this clip because when these people arrive, if I get a chance, I'll get a little video of them with a product that I've been using for many years um, for cleaning um, your toilet system and putting it into the toilet flush. I don't use pink solutions. It might even be uh, it might even be vegan friendly. There might be a vegan option for it. Yeah, so keep watching this because I'll um, I'll I'll try and get this 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 product um, that I know some people use for cleaning their um, uh, uh, cassette toilets and they use it in the flush instead of the usual um, chemical stuff. Um, right, I'm just waiting for one person to depart, and then um, I can start making uh, a proper crack on the um, back on the site today. Um, it's all dry, so um, I've got. Um, a couple of hours of mowing to do over on the big seasonal area I've got um, um, over there to do and get um, get that done and then uh, get ready for this afternoon's arrivals. We've got quite a few on this afternoon. Um, should be just uh, all being well. Going to have a great, great, great bunch with us this weekend. Oh, it's not, we're not, isn't it weird? Isn't it? I get so confused with days. It's not the weekend, is it? It's only it's only Tuesday. <sighs> It's bizarre. It's bizarre. I think Monday. I think Mondays and Tuesdays are like my Fridays and Saturdays. Right, I'm going to crack on. See you later. All right, so um, a couple of arrivals are here. We've got some in a trailer tent, which is quite nice to see. And um, the other YouTubers that I mentioned have arrived. So what we're going to do? We're going to have a word with them in a moment. But before I do that, um, if you watched the last video, or not last video, the recent video, you'll know what I do with a blue bucket, my gloves and a bin bag. Yes, it is bin emptying day, but not any old bin, it's the dog poo bin. Mmm, let's go and empty that. The dog bin, and um, one of the sad things that happens in the countryside is nature. Um, nature looks after itself. And this site, there, is, there, are, there are hundreds of rabbits and we've got uh, red kites up in the sky um, and unfortunately um, things happen and that's a little deceased bunny so I'm sorry if that's upset anybody but that's just that's nature. Right so the rabbit has been uh, the rabbit has been put to rest. Right, I'm sorry for any wind noise. It's um, yeah, it's really windy, very warm, but very very windy. So here we are. I'm on picture number 16, and um, I was going to say hello to a couple of our of our guests who were with us for a few days. So they picked up, um, stayed here on an offer that I did on a YouTube vlog, which some of you will have seen. 
and I think it's safe to go. Right, so am I okay to pop in? And here we are, and I am with the wonderful Trevor and Pat from what's well, this? Not Runaway, Living Digital, no, Runaway. What? Life on the Run. Life on the Run. Yeah. So these two are criminals um, <laughs> are most wanted because uh, their life is on the run. Yeah. Um, right, tip, tip, another another Neil Taylor tip. So I saw Trevor um, the other night was talking about cleaning his um, cassette for his toilet. And a lot of people um, in caravans and motorhomes use a pink flush, which is minking stuff. I, I, I highly recommend don't use pink flush. So what we actually use is this nappy san. And nappy san is more envi environmentally friendly. It gets rid of all your odors out of your toilet waste. Um, and we just sprinkle some of this into the flush and uh, it does the rest. So um, yeah, don't use pink, use nappy san. What say you, Trevor? Yeah, yeah. We well, we'll actually, have to get some. yesterday, or oh, no, yeah, yesterday yeah. on the way, we called in at Asda to try and get some, and she said we've stopped selling it. So it's good old-fashioned stuff. You mainly need to go to an old-fashioned chemist. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're trying to get some. Yeah. yeah. So Trevor and Pat, I'm just going to have, we'll have a quick five minutes with them now, but they have said we can do a proper interview, which I'll get done over the next couple of days during the stay, and we'll go into um, a little bit about you both. Okay. Um, so link in description, if you want to go and find their channel, go and give these guys a subscription. They're, um, Trevor and Pat, Life on the Run. That's the one. They um, they do an unusual method of vlogging, and it's a, bit, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit about their life experiences and things like that. And I was watching Trevor the other night, and he was a bit... Um, a little bit confused about stickers and, and what, why, what are these stickers people give away? So, Dan and Mazzy, I know you'll be watching this. So I'm going to give, I'm going to give Trevor and Pat their very, their very first sticker. And I don't know whether they're going to get excited by this or thinking, <laughs> thinking, what the bloody hell is going on here? These, these, these stickers. So um, there you are, Pat. There's, there's, there's your sticker. Thank so, you. So um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we don't know what to do with them. Stick them on your van. So, so, uh, so a lot of people sort of, uh, sort of collect them, and they say they put them inside the uh, garage door and, mm. and and things. You know, some people right. actually put them all inside. Uh, yeah. But it's I, a... I know I have seen um, Stephen from. Um, um, uh, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember the name of his site now. It's not some van yet. Um, no, I don't, I don't, is he, he has them all over the place at no. the front. You can see them all at the front yeah. of his van. Country Van Life Country TV. Van Life. Okay. It used to be mm. Country Van Life TV, but he's knocked the TV bit off the end and put something else on. I can't right. remember what it is. Yeah, so they're, they're a bit of the rage with the people collecting. So uh, many years ago, um, for my sins, um, I used to organise uh, rallies. So I used to have. Um, uh, a, a, a trailer tank called a Dandy, which you've probably never heard of, and the Mazda Bong, oh, yeah. and Mazda Bongos, and Toyota oh. Estimas, and we used to link the three clubs up. But we used to have a, we used to call little meeting cards, so oh. they're, they're a bit like a business card, basically. We used to laminate them, and everybody used to collect them at the right. meets. They were always a memento of, of all the meets that we had. Oh. So our idea of your stickers, guys, you're so old hat. I was doing this 20 years ago, so um, <laughs> yeah. But I, 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 in the old days, I know that cars used to, they were, had like a triangular banner from a, a town that they'd visited and they used to put them yeah, yeah. On, on, in the back window oh, and stuff yeah, like I remember that. those. I suppose it's something similar to that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I, I do remember that. So let's say we are going to have a proper um, catch up um, with these two uh, in, in the next couple of days, not so sure when we'll, we'll, we'll organise something. Yeah. Yeah. But what do you think of the nursery yeah. so far? Oh, what do I think it. of what? The nurseries oh, so far. I think it's a lovely place. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's in a, a great location. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's dead quiet. You know, you're off the beaten track, even though there's a village just down the road, which is dead handy for motor owners to be able to walk into the, the, the town and go to the pub. Mm -hmm. um, and yet, you, you, I mean, Anderby Creek, you'll get parked there without any problem. Yeah. And and then you've one way you've, you've got Sutton on Sea and Sandyland. Yeah. There's places to park there um, with a motor home because I've done it uh, up in Sutton and mm. Sandyland, and then the other way. Skeggy is a bit more anti motor home. I found <laughs> it hard to park in yeah. Skegness. Um, I don't know what you do about Skeggy, but it's a much busier place. Mm. I believe. Um, 
travel trolls went to Ingermells. That's a, like a it's like Blackpool it used to be in the old days, isn't it? Yeah, I went. I went with them. I gave them a lift. Uh, a lift there. Um, oh, right. And I call Ingermells, especially at night when the neon is all over. I, it's, it's like Benidorm on speed. Right. It's, it's, it, if you imagine Benidorm on speed, yeah. it's uh, yeah. it's arcades and cafes and pubs There's and Butlins, no, holiday camp there yeah, as well. Isn't yeah, but went but on the the, the big strip. Um, my wife was up. Oh, it was a few weeks ago now we um, went down be about eight o'clock on a Saturday night we saw a, a proper physical fight I mean oh. a proper proper fight yeah uh, the effing and jeffing that was going on all the lads oh. with the shirts off with the chest oh, out wow. and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. it's a bit yeah, it's a bit no 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 yeah. no but but yeah. um yeah but yeah but it's great to have you here uh, thank you yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah, absolutely smash, very grateful smash, we are smashing to have yeah. you here let's say we'll get we'll get a proper catch up um so I'm gonna I'm going to tell them um what I've just done and to see how upset they get so yeah i've just picked up a dead rabbit a little baby rabbit that oh, got yeah. bit that got got so um on mm. the video later you'll see um you'll see a dead rabbit carcass oh. so well where did how did it die so unfortunately if it's the rabbit we're thinking of there was one popping about yesterday um and not really moving too much oh. and it had got a war wound but we got the kites the red kites up and they they yeah. come down so we think it'd been partly got and, oh. and, and it possibly got out and then mm. it looks like the uh it come back and finished it off oh. so, uh, that's what happens isn't it yeah, yeah. that's nature that's yeah. 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 yeah 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 so i'm sorry um if you're a, if you're a vegan that was a meat option so any vegans that have offended by showing a dead rabbit i do apologize for that and again that's humor so I don't want to upset any vegans. So please don't get upset by that. Right, guys, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to wrap this one here, and uh, I'll come and say a proper goodbye to you shortly, and uh, catch catch you soon, and yeah. we'll, have a pro we'll have a proper catch, won't we? Okay. All okay. yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. 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 A lovely couple. Um, so as I say, we'll um, we will get to know them a little bit better, and we'll get you a we'll get you a, a nice a nice video where you can actually uh, find out a little bit more about them both. So as you're talking. Um, there about the model museum model car museum we've got literally just um well, it's, it's, again 10 minute walk up the road and um yeah there was a bit of a twinkle in uh in the eye about model, model cars um and just said you know it's it's well worth going if you've got memories of, of of owning sort of cars when you were when you were younger um and then I started then to say to Trevor that there's a scale electric set. And it turns out that Trevor used to be in a slot car club. So um, they used to call scale electric racing, slot car racing. So um, I've actually given Trevor the challenge that I'll take them to the, to the model uh, car museum and I'll have a race. So all being well, we might, we might try and get that done in the next couple of days. It's um, sometimes not easy. Being able to get out at the moment until I've got all the check-ins done, but fingers crossed tomorrow is looking like a promising, um, a promising afternoon. I think I may be able to get everybody on early tomorrow by the looks of who's coming on. So um, yeah, so we'll be doing that. Okay, so there you are. You've um, you've seen a dead rabbit. You've learned about Nappy San. You've met um, two um, YouTubers that you've probably or possibly not heard of before. Again, go and subscribe to their channel. The links in the in the description. Go and subscribe to them. Give them um, give them a sub. They they really appreciate it, and um, and get to know them. Um, I have got another um, well known YouTuber um, here in August, and again, I'm not going to say who that is at the moment, but um, yeah, that should go down really, really, really well. Somebody that you will probably know if you watch um, if you watch people from Van Life. We've got uh, yeah another YouTuber on the way. Right, I've got two check-ins to do, and um, that's my day done. Um, but I'm going to go and just get on with a few little bits and bobs. So I'm going to wrap this video up here, and um, all being well, if everybody's in by 8 o'clock, which I'm hoping they will be, um, I'm going to go to the red line tonight, and I'm going to give myself a, a, a couple of couple of pints of um, beer. I think Batman's, Batman's Triple X Bitter. I think that's definitely on the cards. So, you know what to do, if you've not already done so, if you're here, can you go and subscribe down below, that'd be amazing. I am, oh, so close to getting 2,000 subs, it'd be fantastic if I actually managed to get to that 2,000 mark, it'd be um, a nice, nice little milestone for me. Um, so go and, go and hit the subscribe button if you've not already done it, 
Um, smash the like button that just really helps me grow the channel and if you've got any comments to make or anything like that you want to ask any questions i love reading your comments and i'll always try to answer them leave a comment down below and you know what guys it's been a lovely day we have a lovely life look after yourselves and i'll catch you on the next one take it easy